I sit and work at my desk a lot. 80 to 90% of the time I'm sitting here working on stuff for my day job or creating content for this YouTube channel. And what I've noticed over a long extended period of time is that I've started to get pain points that pop up either on my shoulders or my neck and even sometimes on my lower back and there's always been this I don't know inkling feeling of whether or not all this hype about standing desks even has any clout to it if it has any merit to it and whether or not ergonomic chairs actually really do anything See, in the gaming and tech space, there's always been this sort of uh, idea that you needed to have a gaming chair to kind of be one of the cool kids. And at the end of the day, listen, I'm in my mid thirties. I don't really care about any sort of gaming chair or looking cool. I just wanna make sure that I am healthy, taken care of and comfortable at the end of the day, especially if I'm going to be sitting here working for long extended periods of time, I wanna make sure that I am comfortable. Now, FlexiSpot, they sent me their E7 Pro desk as well as their C7 chair to test out and see whether or not this was something that I would recommend. After pretty much a week, more or less, I would definitely recommend this, but I wanna go ahead and talk about some of the things that I like, some of the things that I don't like, and some of the unexpected benefits upon a little bit of research into what standing desks can actually do for you. First, I feel like I'm a little bit more focused. I'm a bit of a coffee head personally, so I'm always finding a way to just wake me up and give me a little you know jolt of energy but i feel like i'm a lot more focused and a lot more energetic when it comes to actually working whether it's for my day job or just creating content for this channel i also feel like i just i move more with just standing i mean it kind of seems a little bit rudimentary but sitting down you just you're, you're sitting but when you're standing you tend to just move around you shift your body a little bit here and there until eventually i get tired and achy from standing all day long or whatever it may be and i kind of want to take a break and then i bring the table down or the desk down and I sit back down in my chair. Also, because I work remotely 80, 90% of the time, it's awesome for having video meetings or video calls and just being able to kind of like move around and just be a little bit more lively. I tend to use my hands anyways to describe whatever it is that I'm talking about, but having that just, I don't know, it adds a new layer of energy and just being able to express myself better. The beautiful thing about a standing desk is that you can adjust the height to fit your body specifically ergonomically. This is awesome because there are some instances, at least for me, when I go into the office and I'm sitting at, down at a desk and I realize that the height of the desk is at a working height, but it's not specifically set up for my body. So when I start working after a little bit of time, I notice that my wrists start to hurt a little bit more than what it would be at home. See, with a standing desk, you can adjust the specific height of it so that it fits exactly exactly where your armrest is at and that way your wrists aren't really fatigued over a long period of time whenever you're typing away or using the mouse or whatever it may be this is something that is very important with maintaining an ergonomic posture as you're working for long extended periods of time I'm not a doctor by any means, but I do know that when I work at a standing desk at a standing level, I wanna make sure that the height is just right so that I have a nice right angle on my arms and I'm nice and comfortable on the desk itself. This will allow for less fatigue as well as less strain on my shoulders as well as my back and neck. Obviously the same can be said when using a standing desk in a sitting position. Before you even start adjusting the height of the seating position, you wanna make sure that you have an ergonomic chair that you can go ahead and adjust and do micro adjustments to make sure that it is as comfortable for your body as possible. You wanna make sure that the height of the seat itself is at the perfect height so that you have a right angle on your knees and that your feet are firmly placed on the ground. You wanna make sure that the height of the armrests are adjusted so that you can feel comfortable in your shoulders and that you aren't having pressure either going up or down. And you Want to make sure that your headrest is at the right angle so that it provides support when needed also if there's any sort of lumbar support you want to make sure that you have an ergonomic curve to it but you want to make sure that it feels comfortable to your body after that you can go ahead and adjust the height of the standing desk so that it is nice and comfortable but also you want to make sure that it's at the same level as your armrests this way you can work and feel comfortable for a long extended period of time and everything's going to be as ergonomic as possible Obviously the setup for all of this was relatively easy. The instructions were straightforward, but it only took me around an hour and a half-ish. Mind you, I had my eight-year-old son. He was really eager to go ahead and help me set things up. So he was helping me record as well as, you know, screwing a couple of the nuts and bolts that came with this setup. 
That being said, I did need to go ahead and ask another person, another adult, to help me flip the table over once it was done being built. My wife graciously came up and helped me set it up. After that, I started testing, playing with things, and seeing how things ran more or less. The main thing that I really like about this E7 Pro desk is the fact that there are multiple settings that you can save into the memory of the desk itself. So let's say that you are interchanging between different heights. You can go ahead and do that by having up to four different settings that are here. One is straight up standing, one is straight up sitting, but there's other settings, two different additional memory settings that you can set up that you have that's readily available whenever you need it. So if there's a kind of this in-between that you have in between sitting and standing, whatever that may be, then you can go ahead and use that or let's say you're working on something and you need something to be very high so you can get precise looks on things. You can go ahead and do that as well. That way you're not hunched down while you're working on things. Also, if you have kids or if you have pets that are very curious, you can go ahead and lock the settings on the desk itself so that if somebody else goes ahead and pushes anything, it won't adjust the height of the desk. All you have to do to do that is hold the memory button for a few seconds. It'll be signifying that it's locked. And after that, you don't have to worry about the height adjusting. There's also a USB-A port that you can go ahead and use to charge your devices, whatever that may be. But for me personally, I haven't really used it that much. I just use it to see if it works and well, it does. Now the desk itself can support up to 440 pounds. So if you have multiple monitors, if you have all sorts of like things on your desk, you don't really have to worry too much about it being able to handle that weight. It has been tested. The desk has been tested 30,000 times or it has done 30,000 lifts. And that makes me feel a little bit comfortable in knowing that all of the hydraulics and all of the systems that are here mechanically, they work just fine. If by any chance something does go ahead and break down, there is a 15 year warranty. So I feel a little bit more comfortable and confident in knowing that if something goes wrong, they're going to go ahead and replace it and get things fixed if need be. There are a lot of health benefits to having a standing desk that I didn't realize until after I did a little bit of research into why somebody would go ahead and own one in the first place. There's two places that I found that were pretty good in terms of describing all of those health benefits. One was a Harvard research study that was published in 2015 or 16. And then there's this YouTube channel that I found called Bob and Brad. And they're essentially the, and I'm going to quote this from them, the two most famous physical therapists, uh, at least in their opinion. <laughs> so essentially what they went ahead and broke down was the health benefits to this in terms of all of the diseases that this prevents, as well as how this can benefit you. So Bob and Brad specifically, they went ahead and said, and I'm going to go ahead and read off of this list because I want to make sure that I say this correctly. Now, the sitting can go ahead and contribute to different cancers like breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer cancer, prostate cancer, endometrial cancer, and ovarian cancer. I'll go ahead and have a link in the description below to their video as well, so you can go ahead and see this for yourself. And there are benefits to this. For example, if you are going to have a standing desk and you're going to actually be using it as a standing desk, there's less risk for heart disease, less risk for type 2 diabetes, longer lifespan, and a less risk for lower back pain. Now, lower back pain, at least according to that video, is more tied towards sitting down. So that's where really having an ergonomic chair really helps. But there's also this whole sort of um, the ratio when it comes to using a standing desk as a standing desk versus a sitting uh, desk. Now, the ratio that they went ahead and mentioned was 20 minutes standing, eight minutes sitting, and two minutes moving. And that's kind of a nice way of like looking at it. But I don't know if you've heard of this, but the Pomodoro uh, technique is essentially how I would go ahead and do that. And there's timers that you can find online. I'll have one in, uh, I'll have a link in the description below leading you towards a Pomodoro timer. That's honestly a really nice way to kind of, you know, have a, a little break in between things and kind of just keep things going while keeping you fresh mentally. Now, when you do get a standing desk, one of the first things that you're going to want to do is just use it as much as possible. You're going to want to stand all the time. And one thing that I found through that Harvard study was that that's something that you don't want to do because your body is used to sitting down all the time. And when you start standing all the time, you're going to feel aches and pains in places that, you know, just aren't used to sitting up or standing up and feeling all that pressure that you didn't have before. You're used to sitting and working for long periods of time. So when you do start standing, it's just, it's going to feel odd. Now, with that being said and done, if your body starts to feel like it's tired, then sit down, take a break, relax a little bit, maybe go get some coffee or some water, move around a little bit. That's one of the benefits of having a sitting standing desk is that if you do want to go in and sit down, you can. If you do want to stand up, you can. The benefit to all of this though, is that 
by keeping your body moving and kind of just not sitting in a in a stationary position will allow you to be able to just be more active and burn more calories obviously if you do have a standing desk you can throw a treadmill down there i haven't done that but i have seen that online where people they go ahead and they throw treadmills underneath their desks so that they can get those 10,000 steps done throughout a day but it's something that i don't know you might want to go ahead and consider if that's something that you're interested in now, obviously, you're not going to be standing the entire time. You're going to eventually want to go in and sit down and work while sitting. And that's where the FlexiSpot C7 chair goes ahead and comes into play. See, I thought that this was going to be another cumbersome thing to do after building the desk. But honestly, it only took me about 20 minutes. And that's with my eight-year-old son helping me get everything set up and running. For you, it might take maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe. But once it was said and done, I finally sat down and started adjusting things in the chair. You can adjust the headrest height. You can adjust the headrest rotation. So if you want a little bit further back or to support you in a different location, you can go ahead and do that as well. You can adjust the lumbar support on the seat itself. You can adjust the armrest, whether you want to push it forward or backwards or just sideways. You can adjust the height of the armrest. You can adjust the height of the seat itself. You can adjust the position of the seat up to 60 millimeters in difference. So you have plenty of space to work with in order to make sure that the chair feels comfortable for you. Now, I obviously see all of this stuff being put into my setup as, well, an upgrade. I just think that it's going to make things a little bit easier for me to go ahead and be a little bit more active and not to be so sleepy or to kind of have that computer foggy brain when you're just working throughout the day. And it'll also allow me to just be more comfortable when I need to whenever I'm sitting down. That being said, the next project that I do have for myself in terms of my setup and my at home work office YouTube setup thingy that I do have is the cable management because right now the cable management underneath with all the wires going from the camera and the mic and all this and that it's atrocious. So that's the next thing that I have going on. But what do you guys think of the FlexiSpot E7 Pro Desk and the C7 chair? Is this something that you're interested in? Is this something that you have for yourself? Do you have any experience with standing desks? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, guys, I will see you on the next one. Peace.